I've come out for my first night in the camper since it's been converted and I'm very excited. Uh, if you didn't see the last video, I gave a, gave a quick tour of the van since, since it's been converted, but I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. That's it. Uh, I've come to Southport. I, the place I was going to go, I've just driven down there and it is full at the moment. So I've just driven down the, um, down like the coastal road and I've just parked up in another car park that I thought I could stay. But um, it's a pay and display and the gates are locked at five. So I'm currently just sitting here. A shame of you. It's nice. I'm currently just sitting here watching the qualifying for the Singapore Grand Prix. And I think I may go back down to where I was going to park and see if it's quietened off because there was lots of cars there of people probably like just like day visiting like going to the beach or walking their dog and things so if i give it a little bit of time maybe they will have gone and there will be a space for me to park up for the night i came here a couple of weeks ago with a friend actually and uh, i think we stayed for like two nights and it was really nice there is actually on that place it's just like a little car park by the beach although the beach is like the sea and everything it's like miles out <laughs> um but there is like one or two guys there that actually live there in their vans. I think the council have tried to like move them on a few times and things, but it's just, I don't know, it hasn't worked. I'm not really sure. There's a red flag in Quali, which if you don't follow F1, it means that the session, someone's crashed and the session has been paused for a little bit. Whilst they clean up the track and everything, I think I am just gonna, there's a Morrison's just like five minutes drive away. So I'm gonna nip to Morrison's, <clears throat> just grab a few little bits that I want for the evening. It's a nice coastal road here. Southport. The beach is kind of non-existent though. You can see it's just all um, like marshland. <laughs> Put my um, front window covering on. Done a little bit of shopping. I just bought some berries. I love having a freezer. Bought some frozen berries and some yogurt for breakfast. I might have it for tea, to be honest. Um, I'm feeling shattered. I had a terrible night's sleep last night. I could go for like a little walk, but honestly, it's four o'clock. I feel like I need like a little bit of a power nap, a little bit of a doze. Um, yeah, because I'm so tired. I think that's going to be hard to to beat but i'll stay hopeful and give it everything oh sleep is not happening i'm absolutely shattered but i just can't fall asleep um i think i'm just gonna go for a little bit of a walk a bit of fresh air my time out it's the sand dunes are just there so that might be quite nice i've also taken some berries out of the freezer for a bit later because I fancy berries and yoghurt for my tea. Mmm, mm. they're delicious. Right. <coughs> Let's go for a little wander. Water does come up quite high up here, but it's low tide now, so it's like really, really far out. Let me show you the little spot. Actually, that's the that's the little like car park. It's a popular one. It's always generally quite busy. It's gone a bit cold now. It was really nice when I got in the van earlier. I should have come out a little bit earlier for this walk. Anyway. Last time I came here with a friend, we walked all the way out to the sea. And like went really quite deep into the sea but it's it's crazy getting out there it's like really boggy i lost my shoe and my flip-flop in the mud i like put my foot down and my flip-flop went in the mud and i had to like dig my hand down it went like right up to my elbow trying to find my flip-flop it was crazy um where the sand dunes up here i think it was a nice sunset as well last time i came we watched the sunset from from the sand dunes but there were so many bugs it was disgusting like look down at my arms and my arms were, like black covered in like sand bugs or I don't know oh 
Oh, look at this little guy. He's not that little, is he? I nearly stood on you, mister. Quick, get off the path. I'm just cooking up some dinner. I'm not that hungry. I'm just having a couple of hash browns. I'm gonna have my yogurt and fruit afterwards. I've not had a hash brown. It could be years. <laughs> I'm looking forward to these. I love that induction hob. I'm so glad I went for induction rather than um, rather than gas. It does kind of take drain the battery a little bit, but. It's not too bad. I was just speaking to someone and apparently the, um, I noticed as I came in that some of the roads were closed and apparently the British, um, what they call the British Musical Firework Championships are on tonight and you can get a really good view from here. So that's a nice little surprise. So I think I'm gonna plan on an early, early night. They start at eight, finish at like half nine, an hour and a half of fireworks. That's quite a long time. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna definitely stay up and watch at least some of them. Wow, these fireworks were amazing. <laughs> We've come to these fireworks ages ago when Stephen was little. We actually went and watched them. Um, I didn't know they were on. It's just a nice little, nice little surprise for the evening. I've watched two lots. It's about nine o'clock now, and I'm shattered. I've got a pounding headache, and I'm shattered. It's absolutely heaving out there. Loads of people have come, like rather than paying tickets to get into like the actual site where they're doing the fireworks, they've just come to this spot to watch them. So it's really busy. I think I am going to try and get my head down and go to sleep. I need a good night's sleep. I'm shattered. I haven't been sleeping well at all for the past two weeks or so, to be honest, or even longer. So I'm hoping to get a nice night's sleep. This will be the first time I've slept in the van, like not on the drive. I don't think I've ever slept in it since it's been completely finished. Well, no, I, I know I haven't. I've been sleeping at home for the past week or so. So I'm really looking forward. I've been like, getting really like irritated being at home and wanting to come out in the van, so I'm glad I've done this tonight. I'm going to lock up and sleep. Probably stick something on Netflix to watch or something, a little video to fall asleep to. Good night then. I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully we get a good night's sleep and I can be up nice, bright and early for um, a sunrise walk. I don't know what time the sun, what time does the sun rise at the moment? Let's have a little look. The sun rises, oh, the sun rises at 6.58. Although it's cloudy and horrible weather. I should be awake for then. Right, good night, see you in the morning. Oh. Good morning. Oh my goodness, I had an absolutely amazing sleep. It is quarter past nine. I must have been fast asleep by like half nine or something. I did wake up at six o'clock and I thought, oh no, that's it now. I sort of did want to get up, didn't I, and go for like a little walk. To be honest, it's all cloudy and stuff outside anyway, so. Um, but yeah, I fell back asleep at like quarter to seven and I've just woken back up now. Amazing. <laughs> Such the best night's sleep I've had for so, so long. Oh, I feel like I can still sleep, to be honest. Oh.
Nice little cooked breakfast. I got mushrooms, beans and spinach and a slice of toast. I reckon it's now like half past ten. Nice little morning, just mooching around in the van. I reckon I'm gonna head home now, to be honest. I just wanted to have one night in the van. I think probably next week I will go out on a longer little trek and do a few nights because I really want to test out the battery and like how long it lasts and things. So probably a bit of a bigger adventure next week. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just wanted to get out in it and have like a full night out and about somewhere not just on the driveway or whatever but anyway thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye